Here we have a 2011 Volkswagen Polo SC TDI 5 door hatchback in grey. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread depth there, you're looking at about 4mm in the centre of the tyre. Looking at the offside front alloys, you can see there is some curbing around the outside edge of the alloy. Um, so a definite refurb will be required to the alloy. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the body. I personally can't see any dents, there's one or two light dinks on both the doors. Around the offside front tyre, so that's in a nice clean condition. A couple of light scratches there to the driver's mirror will require polish. A couple of light scratches around the driver's door as well, we need to polish also. Um, one or two little touch-ins there on the door edge of the driver's door, a couple of car park chips. And again, some light scratches around the door. Uh, sills okay, nothing at all to report on the roof. Rear passenger door again, good group of light scratches here, need a good mop and polish. Uh, rear door edge is fine, I can see a dent here, don't know how I missed this. Um, around fingertip size, a little bit deep, but as you can see it clearly does stand out. Um, there's some uh, scratches there with it, I might need a bit of paint. Rear quarters fine, uh, rear tyre, you're looking at about 3-4mm to four millimeters of tread. And looking on the rear alloy, nice clean condition with no sign of any curbing. Uh, there's a bit of a scuff mark on the outside edge and that appears to be it. Moving towards the uh, rear end of the vehicle, looking on at the rear bumper, no signs of any damage there, everything appears to be in good order. A couple of light scratches around the loading bay, just need a bit of a mop and polish. Inside the boot, as you can see you've got your parcel shelf, nice condition. Underneath the tray here, you can see you've got your spare wheel under there as well, so that's all in good order inside the boot. Near side rear tyre, again we're looking at about 4mm of tread. And as you can see there is a bit of curbing and corrosion to the paint on the rear alloy, so a definite refurb will be required here. Looking down the near side of the car, and there's a small dent on the front passenger door which I'll show you in a second. Apart from that the rear door edge is fine, um, front door edge again just one or two minor little nicks. Scratch on the door there will require some paint, it's a little bit deep, I can just about get my nail into it. Uh, other lighter scratches will be able to polish out. Front passenger door, um, again like I said, you've got this sort of slight dink, it's not really deep at all. Um, again some light scratches there. Mirror, you've got a bit of a scuff mark on the mirror there, will require some paint. Front uh, arch, again a couple of touch-ins from some stone chips there. And about 3-4mm to four mil on the front tyre. Front alloy, again we have got some curbing around the alloy here, so a refurb uh, probably will be required. And moving around to the front end of the vehicle, again we've got some stone chips around there. There's also a patch of lacquer peel, as you can see on the front bumper here, so you've got uh, lacquer peel all around the paintwork here, it's sort of split as well. Uh, underneath the front bumper, as you can see, there is quite a bit of paint missing there as well. Apart from that, some stone chips around the front end will require some touch-ins, and some stone chips on the bonnet of the car as well. But that's the exterior of the vehicle. Interior-wise, you've got the full cloth interior, nice condition, no signs of any damage, just needs a good valet inside. Back of the seats are all in nice condition as well, same with the door panels. Front passenger seat, uh, front driver seat, sorry, also in a nice condition, no damage there. Front passenger seat also looks very well. Dashboard sends consoles, very tidy and clean, there's no scratches or marks. Steering wheel again, just minimal bit of wearing around there. Inside the car we do have two, uh, three sets of keys with the vehicle, so there's actually three keys with the car, which is um, a bit rare. And looking at the display whilst we start the car. As you can see there, no issue at all starting the vehicle, and we're looking at just over 51,000 miles on the car, no symbols at all on the dash. And looking at your CD radio, no issues at all, the sound works perfectly fine, so that's all good. No issues at all with the blowers, you've got your air conditioning there, which does come out nice and cold as well. Manual box, and taking a look at your documents. <coughs> looking at your V5 of the vehicle, we're looking at two owners on the car, so two owners on the vehicle. MAT expiry date here of July 21st, 2016. And looking at your service history. Now there's two stamps in the book. Uh, when we say stamps, there was a stamp there. And then there's one of these. There's nothing underneath it. Long life service at 20,000 miles. And then we've got another one. Silver service, 14th of July at 40,000 miles. So it's got one at 20 and one at 40. There you go guys, this is the 2011 Volkswagen Polo SE TDI, a lovely first car for someone or just a nice cheap little run around.